Tell us just your background. Well, I'm from Georgia. I'm originally from Georgia. Just so Georgia Peach. And I just I just love Georgia. And um, a little bit about myself. I'm right now I'm a baker. And I love to bake, love to cook. And um, I got seven children and um, 16 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. So that's a little bit about me. Tell us a little bit, what do you remember growing up with biscuits? Did your grandmother back in history make them? Oh, yes. My grandmother used to, well, my, I don't remember my grandmother, but I remember how my mother, oh, in the morning time, she'd get up and you could smell those wonderful biscuits in the stove, and you know, it made me so happy because I knew I was gonna have some delicious biscuit to eat. And um, in the breakfast time, she had the delicious biscuit on the table, and I could hardly wait to get me some good butter, put in no good salt biscuit. They were so delicious. You could normally hear him down, you know, kind of pattering around in the kitchen, and uh, it was just, you could just hear it. You know, and it was like, uh, he kind of came downstairs, and you know, he was rolling out, and he'd either do the drop biscuits, or he'd roll it out a little bit and use a little cup, you know, cut them open, and you know, it was like, it was always uh, Saturday morning. It was either biscuits or pancakes, most times it was biscuits. And that's what we just got to know, it was like Saturday morning. When I, came, when I grew up and went to culinary school and all that stuff, I started doing it on Sundays. So, you know, I kind of took over the tradition, and Sundays it was blues and biscuits, or blues and pancakes, you know, yeah. But yeah, I remember grandmother making biscuits and she would do it um, just completely by memory. She just knew where everything was. She knew what needed to go into it. Never measured anything, just put it all together, mixed it up. Somehow, magically, they came out as biscuits. To this day, I don't understand how that happened. And do you find any place today that makes biscuits like that? Do I find any place today? Um, there are a couple of places maybe that come close. Um, probably Flying Biscuit is one place that comes to mind. Tell us the story about what it was like making, learning how to make biscuits. Who taught you? My mom, and when she taught me, it was with the rolling pin and, you, you know, the, the, the flour, and then you put the yeast in it and all that stuff and make it rise. They, some kind of way they put it at the yeast in it, old-fashioned yeast, and make it rise. Then you get this rolling pin and you roll it out and you sprinkle this flour out and you roll it out. And at that time, we didn't have like the little things that you cut it, so we maybe used a glass or a jar and made the biscuits and put them in. And did you, who taught you how to make biscuits? How'd you learn? My mother. She, um, when I got old enough, um, 12. 12 back there was the age that, you know, the mother started teaching the daughters how to cook. And she, she used to tell me to get the best flour that make the best biscuit. And she used to tell me to get the best shortening that would make the biscuit real soft. So she got the flour together, and she got all the other ingredients together, and she showed me how to make them. Was there a recipe or you just had to listen to it? I listened to it. It wasn't many recipes back there. They just did it. Just did it on their own. And they and the food turned out wonderful. The biscuit was, you know, they was nice and round and kind of not too high, but they was really delicious. Well, I remember my mom making them, hand making them, putting the flour in there, adding the oil to their little pans and sauces. And I mean, they used to just have that aroma. And I, every morning, I try to get a biscuit from somewhere, whether it's McDonald's or Gold Star. And did your mother ever tell you the secret about how she made them? Well, I, I kind of watched you a little bit, but I never did get the ingredients down 100%. But yeah, she did share a little something with me. And what were those experiences like when you ate them? What do you remember? <laughs> I don't know, it was fulfilling, I know that. <laughs>
What was it like having biscuits growing up? Uh, ain't too much to tell about it. Grandmother just made biscuits about the eighth thick. Go through about five or six pans in the course of a uh, weekend. About all I can tell you. You're, do, do you. Do you find any biscuits like it today? Nope. Nope? What would make a good biscuit a good biscuit? My grandmother's. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.